For most, we try to plot a course for life, where we'll live, what type of job we want, certain goals, maybe a, a daily plan. But then there's fate, or as some call it, destiny. That is, a belief in predetermined events that are out of our control. In the case of Murphy Jensen, his goal was to be a great tennis player, and he succeeded, winning the 1993 French Open doubles title with his brother Luke. Following pro tennis, he co-founded a company called We Connect to help those with substance use disorder. Life was going according to plan. That is until fate stepped in. Tucson, Arizona is home to the Gooder Grand Slam a tennis event to help raise money for sudden cardiac arrest awareness. We started the Guter Foundation shortly after my brother-in-law, Steve Guter, passed away from a sudden cardiac arrest. Steve was 42 years old, an avid tennis player, fit, healthy guy. Because of this tragedy, our family and friends wanted to get together and do something that could spare other families this type of grief and tragedy. So we started the Stephen M. Guter Foundation in his honor. Part of the foundation's effort is raising money to supply various locations, such as tennis venues, with AEDs, or automatic external defibrillators. AEDs are very small devices that emit an electrical shock that can start someone's heart again and put it back into a normal rhythm. When used within the first 10 minutes of a sudden cardiac arrest, it can save someone's life. For the past 10 years, Jensen has been a supporter and ambassador for the Guter Foundation. But on October 29th, 2021, while playing an exhibition with his brother at the Garden of the Gods Resort in Colorado Springs, Colorado, his connection to the Guter Foundation would become much more personal really nothing out of the ordinary. It was just kind of a, a, a day, an opportunity for the members of the Garden of the Gods to come out and see the Jensen brothers and just have a lot of fun. We play a couple of points and he's serving to me and he's eyeballing me. He's looking at me like he normally would and he had this beautiful smile on his face. He's just kind of giggling and laughing. And all of a sudden, his eyes close and then he slowly falls back and smacks his head. And it was just out of nowhere. The lights just went out, the power in his body, everything just shut down. There happened to be a bunch of medical professionals in the crowd. So in that short amount of time it took me to get to him, there were already people attending to him. They checked his pulse and he had flatlined. So he was, go Murphy was gone. One of the medical professionals there said, where's the defibrillator? Now, fortunately, I knew right then and there where that was. The in-between the charges with the defibrillator, that was scary because you bring them to and you hear the doctor say, no pulse, no pulse, no pulse. You're just like, what? It's just brutal. I mean, this is a good 17, 18 minutes before the ambulance gets there. He's on the court, and he's, he's dead. dead. Not once, not twice, four times. And you're just, I'm screaming at him to fight. I mean, he's yelling at the top of his lungs, you know, Jensen's never quit. And he probably said Jensen's never quit a hundred times. At the top of my lungs, and tears are running down my face because he's like, this is it. After nearly 20 arduous minutes since Murphy's sudden cardiac arrest, Murphy was finally in an ambulance and on his way to the hospital. Once there, his heart stabilized, but doctors were now concerned about swelling of the brain due to the multiple skull fractures suffered from the fall. So they placed Murphy into a medically induced coma. The real test was about 72 hours out. The professionals did not know how much damage has been caused. What kind of Murphy were we gonna get back? Doctors continually worried about Murphy's brain function. Family desperately tried to get him to respond, even having Murphy's close friend, Gavin Rossdale from the band Bush, sing to him. Cause I don't wanna come back down from this cloud. It's taken me all this time to fly. Cause I don't wanna come back down from this cloud. 
just the world of tennis so concerned it was Chris Ever. It was Billie Jean King wanted to know it. Rod Laver. Andre Agassi was, what's the update? What's the update? Uh, Roger Federer. Just know that I'm thinking of you, my friend, and just keep on fighting, battling away, Murph. I'm thinking of you. Fortunately, after five grueling days in a coma, Murphy awoke. And he looks at me and he goes, where, where am I? I'm like, you're in the hospital. You've had a cardiac arrest. And he just looks at me and he goes, this is gonna make a great chapter in my book. And at that point, I knew basically he was in there and he was going to be fine. Murphy was one of the lucky 12% that survived sudden cardiac arrest. Now, he believes his destiny is to make sure AEDs are readily available, especially at tennis courts, to save lives. And I'll tell you why I'm still here in this moment is to ensure that an AED is available, at the very least, everywhere tennis is happening. The Guter Foundation, my life was saved because of the work they do here. I know I'm here to keep growing. I'm here to uh, love others. I'm here to continue to learn how to love myself. I'm here to be a father, a friend, a husband. I'm here for anybody that ever reaches their hand out for help.